So, Loki's asleep, and I wanted to show you guys my arrow garden. So, I kind of consider this fake gardening. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's aquaponics, so no dirt, um, and it's like kind of automated all of gardening for you. Uh, a friend got me this when it looked like I might be in the hospital for a while with a preterm labor, and she was like, "What would help cheer you up?" And I was like, "Can I have a garden?" I can take in the hospital with me. <laughs> Thankfully, that didn't happen, but I've gotten to enjoy it in my kitchen. And this is what it looks like now. Um, I'm actually just about to um, to like take all these plants out and plant afresh, which is why I wanted to share this. Whoever thought giving mint unlimited nutrients and water was a good idea next to other plants? was going bonkers. Any gardener knows that mint very quickly takes over everything. <laughs> so I've been trying to kill this mint. That's why it looks so bad. Because I've been trying to kill it. Because it was taking over all all of this. Um, our dill, what used to be back here, it died because of spider mites. Spider mites overtook the entire thing. I didn't know what to do with them. I tried to get rid of them a few times. I failed. The parsley did awesome. And then the basils, they aren't very happy because trying to get rid of sp spider mites, I, I cut them all the way down. I didn't know if they'd survive. And they did, but they weren't very happy about it. I'm going to try to salvage the parsley. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm going to try to salvage it because it's so cute. All right, so I had to cut a lot of the roots to get it out. But this is what it looks like. It has this little holder thing. And now I'm trying to figure out, I don't have extras of these holders. So, I'm still trying to figure out how I can save the plant. I might not be able to, because I need to have a holder, but we'll see. Here you can see what my basil plants have done. They got really thick and woody down here, because I pruned them horribly, the way you're not supposed to prune them. So these things just come out like this. There's the root system. This is Thai basil. I cannot wait to grow a ton of different basils. Pull the last one out here. See, look how awful that looks. This is sweet Genovese basil, like your standard, typical American basil. Okay, so in in American recipes, they call for basil, like just regular basil. That's not a thing in Thai and Cambodian cooking. It calls for a specific basil. There are lots of different kinds of basils. Each one has their own flavor. And if you do the wrong basil in the wrong dish, it, uh, it's not good. It throws the flavor of the entire dish off. So there's like lemon basil, there's sweet Thai basil, there's um, cyan queen basil, lime basil, there's a lot of different kinds. I have made it my mission to collect all the basils, if I can. I don't know, I really like collecting basils. I have 14 different varieties of basil, seeds, seeds so far, and I can't wait to plant them all this year. This is my little container of greens. I'm not really planning to save the mint. I just had so much trouble actually throwing any plants out. But mint is going to take over everything. And honestly, we didn't eat it at all. We just give it to our rabbit. Which is valid, but I'd rather do something like lemon balm, because I love lemon balm tea. And I should try mint tea. I didn't even try mint tea. I just realized. I don't know. Maybe I'll grow it in a container or something, but not in the arrow garden. It's it takes care of itself enough. So here's my sad empty arrow garden. I'm not gonna fill it with seeds. All right, so I'm here washing out the arrow garden thing, and Lynn came into the kitchen, and uh, and he was like, "Oh, I was gonna do that regarding milk sink full of dishes," and I was like, "Oh no, I'm not doing dishes. I'm I'm." playing with my plants and doing arrow garden stuff. He was like, oh good, oh good, I'll do the dishes. And I was like, oh, isn't it great have a husband that lets me play with my plants and make videos while he does the dishes? I just had to brag about that. I wanted to show you real quick. This is the mess of roots. That wasn't there. It started out all with water. And these are, <laughs> these all that roots. That was my plants. 
I don't know if you're impressed by that. I'm pretty impressed by it. I think I see the filter maybe possibly a little bit clogged down there. Or in danger of getting clogged. I've read about it can be a problem. And I kept this like way longer than it's supposed to be. So I'm going to try unscrewing it. I hope it don't break it. Unscrewing it was not as scary as I thought. It's not terrible. It just has some roots on it. Check out my arrow gun. I cleaned it all off here. I am making my own pods. I'll show you real quick what these look like. I don't know if this is going to work, but I didn't want to pay an arm and a leg for other pods and I wanted to use my own seeds because I have way cooler seeds than the arrow gun store does. So I bought these plugs off of Amazon. You can probably make your own. I read some horror stories about you make your own and it could clog up the filter. So. I probably overpaid for these, but I I was just getting too intimidated trying to like do everything like super cheap. So I paid for the plug. And then you're supposed to make these little covers because you don't want a whole lot of light in at first. A lot of reviewers were getting algae growing in their tanks because of that. So um and I got slits in them for the sprouts to come out. You're supposed to have like these cute little plastic domes to keep moisture in. I saved them. They're somewhere. They're in my life. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to use these again. And I can't find them. But I just covered the whole thing with plastic wrap, and I think that's going to work just fine. So, the basil that I'm growing in here. Spicy Saber. Opal. That one's a purple one. Uh, Thai Holy Basil. Cyan Queen. London Basil. And Thai Sweet Basil. So I'm really excited what's going to happen here. See if it works. And yeah, other things I have going on here. I'm trying to propagate rosemary. Never successfully done it before. I'm trying. There's a bunch of seeds that I don't know how well it's going to work. I can buy some tomato seeds. It's way too early for tomato seeds. But I was feeling like trying something. So, And I also have three different types of basil growing there as well. Uh, Persian basil. Ooh, blue ruffled. Like, like purple ruffled basil. And there was one more. Hmm. Let me go look at the packets. Oh, Mamolo basil. So, I am growing these three. I don't know how it's going to work. Part of the fun of gardening, right? 